In this lesson, we will use the equation of a line in standard form to graph a line by finding its intercepts. The equation of a line in standard form is ax plus by equals c. With this equation, we can graph it in one of two ways. We could solve the equation for y in order to put the equation in slope-intercept form, the more familiar equation. If we solved this equation for y, we would get an equation that looks something like y equals mx plus b. We could then use m as the slope and b as the y-intercept in order to graph the line. Sometimes there may be a quicker method to graph a line that's given in this form. Let's explore that. Let's graph the equation 5x plus 3y equals 15 using its intercepts. When we use this method, we're relying on the fact that we can graph a line or we can make a line given only two points. Let's take a look at exactly what that means before we proceed with this specific example. In order to graph a line, all that I need are two points on the graph. So if, for instance, I were given this point and this point, there is only one possible way I could draw a line through those two points. And if you'd like to convince yourself of this, go ahead and make two points on a piece of paper, get out a ruler, and the only way to draw a straight line between those two points, you'll just find exactly one way. And if I get out my line tool here, I should be able to make just exactly one line through those two points. It would look like this. This is the idea that we're going to use. There's no other possible line that we could draw through there. If, for instance, we were to try to do this, this would not be a line because it's curved. There's no other way to connect those two points. We're going to use this idea to find the intercepts of this equation, which will make the math very easy in order to find two points and then simply connect them. You're already familiar with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the place where the line touches the y-axis. When we find the intercepts, we'll need both the y-intercept and the x-intercept, which will be the place on the x-axis where the line crosses. So there is two steps to this process. First, we need to find the y-intercept. And I recommend writing this out so that you can keep your work nice and organized and know exactly what you're trying to find. In order to find the y-intercept, you have to know what goes on at the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where the line is going to touch this y-axis. It's going to give you the y-coordinate of where it touches the y-axis. So the y-coordinate really could change here. It's going to change from line to line. But what coordinate is always the same in the y-intercept? That's the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate will always be 0 on the y-axis. So when we find the y-intercept, what we're doing is we're letting x equal 0. Why is that? Because if, for instance, this were our line, that y-intercept would be right here. We'd be going up 1, 2, 3, 4. That would give us the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate will always be 0 because when we touch the y-axis, we're never going to go left or right. Now, all that we're going to do to find this y-intercept is substitute in 0 into this equation. So I'm going to use the equation of the line, 5x plus 3y equals 15. That was given to me right here. And then I'm going to substitute in 0 for x. So I'm going to be substituting in here. So this is going to be 5, and I substitute the given value in, and now I simply solve for y. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3y equals 15. 0 plus 3y is 3y, and 3y equals 15. From here, this is a one-step equation. All I have to do is multiply both expressions by the reciprocal of the coefficient. That will be one-third. threes cancel here, leaving me with just y equals and 
3 goes into itself once and into 15 five times. So y equals 5. I've now found doing this algebra, simply substituting in 0 for x here, and then using the steps that I already know to solve the equation, I found out that y equals 0, or excuse me, y equals 5 when x equals 0. All that's left to do now is pair those two together, my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate. The x-coordinate is 0, the y-coordinate is 5, x equals 0, y equals 5. And I can now plot this point, and it should be at my y-intercept. Here we go. The point 0, 5. 0 on the x, 5 on the y. I should be right there. Now I repeat the same process in order to find the x-intercept. So now I need to find the x-intercept, which will be the place where the line touches the x-axis. Which coordinate will we know when the line touches the x-axis? In this case, we will know the y-coordinate, because when it w our line touches the x-axis, we're not going up or down at all. The y-coordinate is 0 at the x-intercept. And now again, I start with this equation, 5x plus 3y equals 15. And then I substitute in 0 for y so that I can find out what the x-coordinate is when the y-coordinate is 0. So I'm going to substitute in for y. So this is going to be 5x plus 3 times 0 equals 15. Now the reason that we pick the intercepts to find when we're graphing these lines is that it makes the math very, very easy. In the previous step when I was finding the y-intercept, I showed all the math out. And you can do that, uh, hopefully the first couple of times, while you get the hang of it. But notice what happened. The 5 times 0 became a 0, and the 0 plus 3y became just 3y. So all this simplified down to 3y in the left-hand expression. Can you see what's going to happen in this left-hand expression? This term goes to 0, and we're going to add 0 to 5x, which is just going to leave us with 5x and we'll get 5x equals 15. So we've simplified the left-hand expression. Now we're continuing to solve the equation. The only thing we have left to do is to multiply both expressions by the reciprocal of the coefficient. So I'll multiply by 1 fifth on both sides. And I will get x equals, and a fifth of 15 is 3. And so I can now put these two together into a point the x-coordinate is 3, and the y-coordinate is 0. So my other intercept is at the point 3, 0. So I'll come up here and go to the right 3, and we're not going anywhere on the y. This is why we found the x-intercept, because we're not going anywhere on the y. We're not going up, we're not going down. That's the logic that we used when we picked y equals 0 to plug in. Now all that we have to do to graph this line is use a straight edge in order to connect this point to the other point. And you should of course extend it in both directions. And this is the graph of the line 5x plus 3y equals 15 using the intercepts. Again, there is another method we could have used. We could have solved the equation for y and then used the slope in the y-intercept, like we have in previous videos. You can now use either method that you'd like. You have both methods at your disposal for graphing lines in standard form.